My name is Michael Schachter, and I'm really excited to tell you a little bit more about my piece, the Capriccio, for two cellos. Now, this piece dates back to my grad school years. I was at the University of Michigan, and Richard Aaron, the renowned pedagogue of cello there at Michigan, as well as at Juilliard, he issued a kind of open commission call for scores from the student composers to write pieces for some combination of cellists from his studio. And the only requirement was that they had to respond in some way to Brahms's Cello Sonata in E minor, Opus 38. It's a fantastic piece, and he, unlike for the pianist, who has Herculean technical demands, for cellists, even in their student years, it can be quite accessible and uh, just a, a gorgeous thing is to have as part of your repertoire. And I, uh, in writing a piece for duo, was taking apart the Brahms's piece by the seams, looking at its different themes and just the impeccable construction. And I found myself thinking about the musical materials as a kind of a clay that I would be playing with. And that really freed up my creative juices. So I brought that spirit of play to the concept of the piece. It's called Capriccio, which comes from the Italian word capriccioso or playful. And not only does that uh, that title referred to the overall vibe of the piece, such a short, spirited, playful little piece in its affect, but also in terms of my uh, compositional approach, that most of the musical materials in this piece, ranging from the primary themes that you hear, as well as the smaller passing notes and accompanimental figures, relate back or even are derived directly from the Brahms Opus 90, but pulling from the different movements, taking the different parts that might have come in a certain construction and mixing and matching them, transforming them either through inversion or retrograde, or through blowing them up, intervallically messing with them, and also using quite a bit of Brahms' own favorite device, dialogic or imitative polyphony. It also expanded to my approach to the form, having a sort of a rhapsodic, free-spirited whimsy going through, leading by instinct. And as well, because unlike with a cello and piano, or a violin and piano, as with his great duets, writing for two cellos, each instrument is capable of both you know, sonorous bass as well as soaring melodic soprano and uh, really treating them as kind of tango or dance partners, going around each other playfully, uh, almost teasingly, and exchanging roles, uh, who is leading, who is following, kind of in a playful dance. I'm, uh, I'm so grateful to Dong Min and the New York Classical Players for putting this incredible recording together during the pandemic. And, you know, with all that's been going on this year, the anxiety and uncertainty of the pandemic, as well as our much needed reckoning with inequity, both within our field, as well as within the larger society and world, that this piece for me, I think, reminds me that it's not just okay, but really essential for us to find moments to play, to let ourselves smile, to, to just enjoy the simple delights of being here on this planet and being humans together. Thank you.